Don't I feel so much more positive? Absolutely. Especially when I have Nas on the left side of my hand every single game. It's great. Oh shit, it happened. This has to be a viewer. This absolutely has to be a viewer. This, this has to be a viewer. All right, I think we got him. Well, our first Nas game, it happened. It actually happened. I don't think that was a sniper or anything. He's just playing the, the only Nas deck I've seen around. Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And today I wanted to talk about a topic that I've seen pop up a lot, especially on Reddit. Reddit, it is a very popular topic of well, this card has been a complete bust so far from the core set, and that, of course, is the brand new Nosdormu. If you're not aware, and believe me, there are people that are not even aware this is in their collection. It's the uh, replacement to the old Nas, which would make uh, the turns last 15 seconds long. It was a 9-mana 8-8. Eight, eight. But now it's a 7-mana 8-8, eight, eight, and if both players have it in their, op in, in their deck when the game starts, basically for the entire game, you get 15 seconds per turn. It's like Speed Hearthstone. It's a really cool fun concept and nobody plays it nobody plays it on ladder and there's actually and this is something i want you guys to comment please comment in the comments below did you know that the 15th of every month according to play hearthstone is officially nosdormu day they've tweeted this i think the last three uh 15ths that you are supposed to put nosdormu in your deck to celebrate nosdormu day and play against uh, other people with it the thing is nobody does that nobody knows about it for the most part and nobody does that but again comment below if you know about it. you guys are probably more than the no so i'm expecting a lot more yeses than no overall i, I read my twitter timeline it's like oh i played nas all day and didn't get a single mirror i think re just posted a video of him and uh, lieutenant eddie playing against each other because well he couldn't play against them. You couldn't find anyone to play on ladder with Nas in their deck. And I think I'm the ultimate testament to Nosdormu. You saw in the opener there, I was playing Nosdormu. I worked on this core set achievement. Win 500 games, 500 games with Nosdormu in your starting deck. And I completed it. I completed it. I have won 500 total games for the massive reward, I think of like 50 achievement points. I think you get uh 10 10 10 and 20 for the course achievement really worth and well that's part of the problem we'll talk about that but yeah in that process so 500 wins i'd say i i didn't track exactly how many games i won or how many games i played because it was across a bunch of decks we did like nas roulette and all this stuff but i would approximate at least 900 games right i probably went at least around 500 and 400 in the 900 games i played of nas dormu decks no many mirrors i queued of other people playing Nas, four, four. And of those four, three of them were playing the exact deck you saw in the intro of like a scam, a death rattle, dragon, rogue deck. And you basically just put it in there as a dragon to cheat out, right? And it's kind of fun. And I was literally playing Nozormoon every deck I would play. I was playing it in Dark Lair Warlock. If I actually queued a mirror while playing Dark Lair and having Nas in my deck, there's no way I could win. The turns would be too impossible. I even played the majority of it in the Stealer of Souls Warlock that recently just got like banned from Wild, where the, the problem with that deck, or for the most part, is the turns are impossible to play because they're so, you know, the animations. Well, I never had to worry about it because nobody played Nas. So if I had played Stealer and Plot Twist, that would be the end of my turn. I'd have no time. So literally while playing, getting this achievement done, I queued four mirrors and that's as a streamer, people could queue snipe me. People do that all the time and just, uh, you know, either mess with me or have fun or whatever. And even then that only happened once. That was the fourth was a viewer that queued into me to play. I think it was like double Yog Hunter where they had Nosdormu in there and they didn't draw Yog was sad. And that was it. That was it. So why, why is this like, why is nobody playing Nas? I think a lot of people will play Speed Hearthstone and I wanted this video to go over, first off, why people don't play it, and second, how we can encourage it to be played and make it an optional thing. Don't force people, because some people literally can't handle the fastness of it, or they're on mobile, it'd be a disaster, or they just have, you know, like a no-hands gamer, right? No-hands, uh, you know, he's got to use his eye eyes to direct things that might be tricky. So anyways, let's 
let's talk about it. so why do people not play it entirely well first there's no incentive there's literally no incentive to play nosdormu in the game right now you have that core set achievement that is literally as far as it goes and that core set achievement is worth what 50 achievement points that almost nobody cares about unless they're me and that's it you, you don't get any xp you don't get nothing second i honestly believe people don't even know it's in the game i've tweeted multiple times about nosdormu and I, i've gotten the response of like i don't want to craft this card like it'd be cool but i don't even want to i don't want to craft it right i don't want it you literally get it for free in the core set everybody has this card it it costs you nothing but people don't even know it's in their collection so they're like those are like the two big reasons i feel that people don't play it or they don't want to play speed hearthstone they just legit don't want to play it otherwise you're putting a, a card in your deck that's just no good even though it's a seven mana eight eight which is actually ahead of the curve it doesn't do anything it doesn't have taunt rush or anything and in today's hearthstone that means it's a terrible card what are ways we can get people to play it without making it a two mana eight eight which would just be absurd you don't want to change the way the card works for the most part we've talked about it before i believe in another video where i suggested maybe you could like discover another card to replace it but overall i have a few suggestions that i've really thought about that i think would make nosdormo playable and first is to do a tavern brawl with nosdormo rules where you show what the card does so people know it exists create awareness that oh speed hearthstone might be something i enjoy so for a weekly tavern brawl literally have it that each player will have Nas in their deck and maybe the deck's entirely random i don't know but just make it so people know about it because most people play tavern brawl get their one pack get out but they might see oh this is kind of cool maybe i want to put it in my deck i'll put it in my deck for ladder maybe we'll get some speed hearthstone so i would love to see it just put it in a tavern brawl but they rarely ever make new tavern brawls because they're focused on other stuff like mercenaries every tavern brawl is a repeat so that's a long shot so the other suggestion which I, i'll use the graphic by hearthstone mathematics they made a video covering this and some other stuff where they make um daily rewards or like on nosdormu do an in-day suggestion or a quest like a passive quest like if nosdormu is in your deck you earn 15 percent more xp or whatever some kind of in-game quest for it and again it's a free card you don't have to pay for it so it doesn't kill you to put it in and if you don't want to take advantage of this passive quest, you don't have to, you're not forced to, but people would see this like, oh, I could put Nas in my deck and earn some extra XP. Why not give it a go? And it's just like for the day, it's a one day thing on Nas Dormu day on the 15th, and that'll be really good. And I believe Celestalon tweeted out that they're looking at putting something in game client. So maybe it'll relate to that. I'm hopeful. So there is some hope on that, but yeah, have it like as an in-game reward, something like that. I think that would do a lot of good and get, pe get people to try out Nuzdormu games because they're really fun. Every time I had a mirror, it was really fun to go through these fast turns. You may see me in my clips and I'm really salty and mad, but that's the thing. Even when I'm having fun, I'm grumpy and mad. I get mad about everything and that's fun for me. Don't ask me. That's the way I am. Fun, angry, salty. It's all the same. It's all the same for me. I can't help it. And the last main suggestion I would make, and it relates to the achievement, and this isn't just because I completed it, and the only other person I know of that's done it is Ben Hearthstone. Shout out to Ben Hearthstone. Is um make the achievement worth either XP, which probably won't do much, but what would be really cool is give a diamond Nosdormu if you complete this achievement. Because think about it, 500 wins is a golden class with any hero. 500 wins with a class is a golden hero. So why not reward with a diamond Nosdormu? Wouldn't that be awesome? And people, believe me, would want to complete this achievement to unlock a free diamond Nosdormu. And I think that would be awesome. And then you could show it off and like, or have a Nosdormu portrait or something for Paladin. I don't know. But regardless, give a reward a really cool reward for the achievement and that would incentivize people not only to complete the achievement but to play Nas and have fun on ladder and that's all it's about this is all this card's about it's not about making your deck better it's about having a more fun experience on ladder and i think that's a really cool thing and it's really missing because well nobody knows about it wants to play it has any reason to play it and you gotta give a little bit of incentive to play just just the fun aspect is rarely ever enough otherwise we'd all be playing like you know renounced darkness warlock and wild all day if we just wanted to have pure fun it just it just doesn't really happen so let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions on how to get nas to be more playable or if this shouldn't bother screw it nas is stupid and you don't want fast hearthstone and screw you zeddy you're always complaining and you know what i'm gonna post in your comments to complain about your complaining we'll see how it goes if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends <laughs>